what's going on YouTube everything 3d printing here and what I want to do is I want to just talk you through a question that I do seem to get a lot and do hear a lot is is PLA waterproof um, as you can see in this clip I've uh, printed a vase um, a very nice vase I might add and um, you know I had printed one before which did leak it was a bit smaller than this um, so overall this one is a bigger vase than the one I had printed before um, but there is a few things which do contribute to whether your PLA prints can be waterproof and number one I would say is um, infill and uh, layer height uh, I'll group those two together because obviously your layer height you want to be a little bit thicker than um, you know, I, I normally print at a 0 0.1 layer height, um, but you want to have a pretty a thicker, um, you know, maybe even 0 0.4, 0 0.3 layer height. Um, you want that layer height to be nice and thick, um, and also infill. You know, having it, um, having your infill quite thick, is uh, is really going to be beneficial. Um, keeping that, keep instead of it just being a shell, keeping some infill in between in between the shell walls is um, is going to create that barrier to stop the uh, water coming in and um, also there's another thing called post post processing um, it blends layers uh, together which obviously eliminates any kind of gaps and um, you know that's another thing which you could experiment with I personally haven't experimented with it but um, I've seen some good things and it also does clean up the prints and makes your prints look very very nice so maybe it's something I'll do in the future but if you really had something that you you know you, you really liked and didn't want to have to print it again another thing you could probably do is um, use some candle wax um, candle wax is uh, you know obviously get a candle melt it and um, you know pour that wax into the bottom or even some kind of silicon or something like that you know you could pour it into the bottom of the if you've got a vase for example into the bottom of the the base of that um, these are just little tips that I've, I've personally used um, but without having to even do that just make sure that the base is thick make sure that you have a a thick layer uh, a thicker layer height than a you know something which is very fine and um, you know making sure you have at least you know 70 percent infill to a hundred you know a hundred ideally if you're printing something which is going to be you know containing water in it um, but that's my uh, my little tips um, so layer height post processing I put some pictures up and obviously increasing your shell and infill um, and uh, you know making sure that your, your print is nice and thick because that's going to hold the water but with this vase for example that I had printed um, you know that I had left for 24 hours and there was no issues with um, any leaks or anything like that even little containers I've done um, it's just making sure that you know you have a, a good infill and things like that so that's just a few ideas um, so short answer which I should have really said at the beginning is is it is PLA waterproof yes it is in my opinion um, providing that you do have those you know those things ticked off then you shouldn't have any any issues with leakage and things like that but um yeah that about wraps this video up um you know just a few takeaway ideas for you to apply if uh, if you um wanted to and also in um cura there's vase mode vase mode um which i think does you know if you are printing a, a vase or a vase depending on how you pronounce it um there is obviously settings which you know cura will automate for you and um, that would be very very helpful for you so um, yes um, you know don't forget to comment subscribe and I'll see you on the next video thanks for watching